When you talk about a dynasty in sports, it means that one team dominated their field during a certain period of time, such as the case with the 1980s and the Thunder Bay Twins and senior hockey in Canada. It all started with two back-to-back -back titles in 1984 and 1985. The 1983-84 edition of the Thunder Bay Twins handily finished first in league play with a 25-8-1 record, going on to defeat the Steinbach Huskies four games to one to claim the Cash League title, earning the right to face off against the Spokane Chiefs in the Western Final. Winning the first game five to four, the Twins outlasted their opponents in a marathon second game which saw more than 27 minutes of overtime and claimed the title with a 4-1 final game victory. That season, the best of seven Allen Cup finals was held in Thunder Bay, and the Twins faced off against their arch rival, the Cambridge Hornets, the defending Allen Cup champions. Winning the opener 3-2, the Twins dropped the second game 7-3 and fought back to win the next two games 5-3 and 6-5. In the fifth game of the series, before over 4,000 fans, the Twins got off to a fast start, scoring with just over a half a minute gone in the first period. They led 4-1 to one at the end of 20 minutes. Cambridge roared back with two quick goals in the first two minutes of the second period to narrow the gap to just one. With the Twins leading 5-3 to three going into the third, a Hornets goal just 46 seconds into the period again brought the game to within one goal but an insurance marker by the Twins at 637 allowed the team to hang on to a 6-4 victory and claim the Allen Cup. The 1984-85 edition of the Thunder Bay Twins provided the hockey fans of Canada with some exciting come-from-behind victories all along the road to the Allen Cup. Starting with their challenge against Morden for the league title down a game, they went on to win four straight. Facing off against the St. Boniface Mohawks, they gave up the first two games and again claimed four straight victories to gain a berth in the Western Finals. Against the Spokane Chiefs, they trailed three to one and charged back with three wins to win the Western title and gain entry into the Allen Cup Final. Their challengers in the Allen Cup Final were the Corner Brook Royals, and the entire series was played on their opponent's home ice. Down three games to none and facing elimination, the Twins fought back to tie up the series, forcing a seventh and final game. The Twins scored first, a power play marker at 10-37. Danny Gruen from Clark and Sismar. In the second period, it was all Thunder Bay. The first scoring play, another power play goal at 2:22. Jim Sambre from Bolduc and Pressinger. Then at 13:22, Norm Fulham, a two-on-one break, and he comes up with a good shot. The assist goes to Peter King. At 1647, Pressinger gets the goal. This time, Sismar and Kisik pick up the assists. It's a 4-1 hockey game after the second period. Then at 1638, the backbreaker for the Royals and the insurance goal for the Twins. A pass out front is batted out of the air by Peter King, and it's 5-3. So it's a win for the Thunder Bay Twins, 5-4, ending a terrific comeback for a gutsy team over a fine Cornerbrook squad. The Twins repeat as champions, something which hasn't been done in quite some time. Then the presentation of the Allen Cup by Doug McKenzie of the Canadian Amateur Hockey Association. Claude Anstey, NAHA president, presents the Most Valuable Player Award, and that goes rightly to Thunder Bay goalie, Andy Stays. And then the Twins do a little parading with the big cup, and rightly so. Then they take the cup and coach Ron Busnick for a little ride. This double victory by the Thunder Bay Twins not only broke a 50-year drought of back-to-back -back Allen Cup title winners, it marked the first time that a community had won two back-to-back -back titles with the Twins mirroring the accomplishments of their forefathers, the Port Arthur Seniors of 1925, and 1926.